You know, this mansion right here has served as Bart's hyperbolic chamber for training, and looking at me now, I would say it's worth it. Look at how far he's come already. Anyways, everyone, welcome to Project Zomboid. And the first thing I'm gonna do today is run back inside, because we're terrified of the fog still. <laughs> Alright. Now we've calmed down, and you might be wondering, why am I talking about the mansion when I'm in a pretty capable position already? And I'll say it right now, I don't think Bart's ready to go out there and, you know, kill stuff. Because even if we're at strength level 5 and fitness level 5, we aren't really capable of fighting sprinters. Well, I mean we are. The only problem is that right now I can't outrun them. So I'm going to be spending this early part of the episode training once again. I know we've been training nonstop for 25 days, but I don't feel confident until we get to level 3 sprinting so I can outrun the generic zombie, right? Because our car that we do have doesn't have gasoline, so if I go out and start looting right now like I initially planned, I would get run down and murdered, especially because there are no obstacles in the wild. So yeah, we are gonna work out for a little while longer. It should only take about a day or so to get where I need to be, so yeah, it's back to the tomato grind. And with the sound signal of progress, now we are finally ready. As we've reached level 3 sprinting, everyone. And I also think it's about time we retire our leather jacket. Because even if it gives scratch and bite defense, it does slow us down with the run speed modifier. And I want to run as fast as possible. But yeah, Bart's almost ready. So we're going to go grab some sleep. We're going to sleep again. And then we are going to be heading off towards this group of homes here. And maybe that small garage there. After that, there's only one place to go, and that's West Point. I really don't want to think about West Point. So let's just go to sleep and wake up a brand new person. There we are. Welcome on in, everyone. It's time for us to head on out. So let's go head downstairs, equip our bag, and also drop off these wooden spears, because right now these are crutches to me, especially fighting sprinter zombies. It's about time Bart goes back to using real weaponry. So yeah, let's grab my hiking bag, let's grab my fanny pack, and a couple of tomatoes to boot. Okay, cool. Let's see what weapons we got now. We have a machete, a few garden shear blades, and that looks to be it for now. Hmm. What I'm gonna use instead then is this round point shovel right here as our main weapon, and I'll be using the machete for a little while longer. Okay, cool. We got water, we have weapons, we have 12 carrying capacity. It's time for me to head on out, everyone. And right now, the things I want are basically general supplies, but also on top of that, I really want some skill books, particularly ones that can boost my experience gain with fitness and strength, because that's what really matters at the end of the day. Oh, also, I need gasoline really, really, really bad. So I decided to bring our empty gas can along with us, and instead of following the path we usually do right down here, I'm gonna go head up towards these homes following this road here, in hopes that we find ourselves a destroyed car or wreckage along the area so I can siphon out gasoline and actually use my van right up there. That's what's really holding us back. If we get ourselves a full tank of gasoline, our life will change for the better. For now, though, Bart is gonna have to rely on his two good old feet, and we're gonna have to run away with them as well. So yeah, it's time to walk for about the full day. <laughs> I'll let you know if I find anything cool. Now that's a fun surprise. Oh man, it's been a while since I've seen a zombie, and I think it's about time to test Bart's metal in combat now. I don't know where the hell these zombies came from, but that is really scary. All right, buddy, let's see what you got now. 
Now that right there is real progress, everyone. Holy hell, Bart's just slashing through the competition at this point. Oh, this feels good. All of our efforts have finally bore fruit. I mean, look at him swing away on that bad boy. Damn, dude. Not bad, Bart, not bad. Oh man, we have so much power. Holy heck, it feels nice to have a little bit of stopping power behind my swings now. I won't get too cocky though, because that is when we die a horrible death. But what that strength and fitness allows me to do is kill more zombies and not get severely tired as time goes on. Actually, we will still get tired, but we can kill zombies a little bit quicker than slapping them down with like a million swings. Also, speaking about more zombies, we got three more right down here. You know what to do, Bart. You've been training for this. Is that cigarettes? Oh my, hello there. Okay, not bad, not bad. But yeah, we've been training for this for a very long time. Oh my god, dude, the sheer power we have right now. <laughs> oh yeah, we're so bad. Damn, it feels good to be me right now. Also, that's 20 cigarettes right there. If I want to start smoking to reduce my stress completely, that might be a vibe, everyone. Ah, oh, the only problem is, is I've, you know, I've put so much work into it, do I want to screw it up now? Also, that's a massive horde right there. We're gonna ignore them, we're gonna go up north. <laughs> yep, screw that. I have no idea where the hell those zombies came from, but we will have to remember they're there. Well, it's not a car, but it sure does look like those zombies are having a very fun time. It really does suck that Bart's gonna have to put an end to it. By the way, I'm not sure if you guys are seeing this, but Bart juggles sprinter zombies so much better than he has in the past. Like, our strength is so much higher that we can actually push them back pretty reasonably, which is extremely nice. Oh, dude, it's just, it feels nice. It feels really, really nice. And even though we won't be able to do fence cheese in this challenge, I feel good. We are about halfway there, though. So we need to shut up and keep her moving. I will be staying at that house for the night though. Also, we have finally gotten drowsy. It's really a shame that I won't be able to do anything for that because of Restless Sleeper. But um, yeah, it's here to stay for now. Maybe we do go back to the spear. Yeah, you know what? I think we will. I'll just make them as soon as I make it over to the other place. Okay, we have finally made it over to the T intersection, which means the home should be right across. I am gonna follow the road down, just in case if we find ourselves a car. Gosh, man, I would really kill for a car right now. We are also extremely tired, which sucks. But it is 8 p.m., so we just have to do stuff in a little bit quicker of a time schedule, right? Oh my god, there is a car. Please have some gasoline, man. No, it doesn't. Okay, I mean, that's fine. If there's one car, then there there has to be a flock nearby, right? <laughs> uh, hopefully, hopefully. We have made it over. We see the mailbox. Let's go swoop our way on down and finally catch some Zs. And here we are. There is currently a zombie ripping apart a dead corpse over there. I'll kill them right now, because why the heck not? Then we'll head inside and finally sleep. So, sir, come right on down. I would love to introduce you to my machete. Holy hell, Max Tiredness sucks, dude. Yeah, no, if I survive long enough, I might just remove Restless Sleeper because not being able to remove it in a normal means just sucks, dude. My character is, oh, he's so good. And yet at the same time, that is the one thing that holds him back. Anyways, there's nothing inside this garage. 
so we can move on over towards the homes inside. Yep, nothing. Okay, let's hope there isn't a party event inside, or else we're gonna have a really bad time. So far, though, the coast is looking not clear. <laughs> okay, yep, that would do it. Let's hop on over here and see who's chasing me down right now. I have a knife, and I am not afraid to use it. Where the- oh, oh my god. Yep, there are so many coming in after me. That is the worst thing that could happen. I will be honest, we might die here. This might be it. Right now, all I have to do is just to run away far enough in hopes that we can give them the old loop. Alrighty, we have lost almost all of them except for the one we just killed. Okay, that is exactly why I... I got the extra bit of sprinting level, dude. That could have went bad very quickly. It could still go bad for me. What is making all that sound? What the hell was that? Oh, I hate this. Okay, there's another in here. Boom, that's another one down. Let's just take it real calm and cool now, all right? We are in no rush right now. Oh, man. This is terrifying, everyone. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, what just made that? What just made that? I am terrified, dude. This place sucks. This sucks. This sucks so much. Okay, right there, right there. Hello. Woo, okay. All right, all right, all right. That's another one down. And honestly, I am going to stay here for the night. So we are going to drink a quarter of the beer to calm us down a bit, make us a little less sad. I'm going to pick up these two tables here, and I am going to box myself off in the corner. So if a zombie does come by, we have an early warning system. I'm not moving anywhere else in the middle of the night right now. So let's grab this, and let's fortify. Just like that. Boom, we're in. We have a stool in the corner we can use. Perfect. Let's go to sleep. Let's worry about it tomorrow. <laughs> when we can finally wake up at 8.20 a.m. I am still pretty tired, but we are alive. We are going to have some... Aw, oh, dude, really? The tomatoes are stale now? Aw, oh, dude, okay, it's fine. We're alive. We can head over to the house. Let's hope that it was just the three. If not, we do have our knife. Matter of fact, it's not good enough. Let me go chop down a couple of these bushes and turn them into spears. Now I feel a little bit better. Let's take it real slow now. And already I see one bozo. It looks to be just him though, so I think... Oh, nope, there's another one over there. So one purple guy, one more lady. Let's hope that's it. There's one. Now we got two more. That's gonna be four down, and that entire encounter made me truly appreciate wooden spears. Let me see if I can make another, then I will investigate the house a little bit more in depth. Yeah, let's make one more. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm very cautious about these windows, it's because with the mod I have, Stay Away From Windows, if a zombie bursts through a window and you're near it, you will get stunned and it will almost kill you, right? And if I would have gotten stunned in that little scenario, it would have been game over. So far though, we're inside. I don't- nope, right there. Dude, these zombies are so dang tough, man. We killed it, though. I think that's going to be the last one in here. We blasted through two more spears. Let's go slowly clear it out with our knife. Good old reliable. I love the hunting knife. Is there anyone still up here? I'm going to knock, and you guys better answer. No? Nothing? Okay, we're finally good. We have cleared out the farmhouse. It only took my entire blood pressure to achieve it as well. We got ourselves a crossword magazine, a chef knife on the floor, with a couple of dead squirrels. Sadly, they're already rotten. 
We got ourselves a wood stove, which is very nice, more magazines, a singular book. Aside from that, though, we got some bath towels, spatula, some vegetable oil, which is very good in terms of food, soy sauce, evaporated milk, and that's it. Okay, not really the best downstairs. Maybe the upstairs will wow me, though. A CD that is called Raps for Christ by Lazarus and the Disciples. We got Tailoring, Volume 1. That's not a bad book. And finally, in here, we have ourselves Long Johns, which is very nice for tailoring, actually. A polo neck sweater, which I can replace my v-neck with. And that's it. Okay, cool. I'm gonna wash my character off. I am going to read a book, and we are going to exercise for the rest of the day. <laughs> we love exercise here. Yeah. And so, with a little bit of exercise and a little bit of beer, we have woken up. Also, that is one thing I need really, really bad. I want a full-on beer bottle. This beer can, when we take small little sippies from it, is quite literally the only reason why we are able to sleep in homes like this and kind of lead on a normal life. It's very, very nice. And of course, it's, it's really bad out in terms of weather. Okay, everyone. If I had food, this would be a scenario where I just exercise for the rest of the day. But because we don't have that, we need to get a move on. First of all, let's chop down a couple of bushes. Okay, you know what? No, screw this. We're going back in. <laughs> nope. No thank you. Let's go work out. Okay, now it looks ten times better to go out. Let's go chop down a couple of bushes now. and make some spears hell yeah okay cool now that we got the weapons we just gotta follow the road on down right to the homes there well that is interesting there is a survivor zombie event so i am gonna have to cut through the woods a bit and really cross my fingers that that group doesn't get led towards my location if a meta event happens. If that happens, we're dead. <laughs> Unless we can run away extremely fast-like. We should almost be at the homes regardless. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> and it looks like RNG is back on our side. Is that gasoline right there? Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Okay, hold on. Before I siphon it out, let's see how much we're working with here. Come on, big money, big money, big money. We got ourselves 16 full units of gas. Oh, 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 it's a good day. All right, everyone, that is gasoline to where we can get the hell out of Dodge. And it looks like there are two paths for me to take right now. There's three mailboxes down here and two mailboxes up here. I'm gonna go check out this one up here and I think we're gonna save the three down there for next episode. Actually, scratch it, I'm looking up right now. That is pretty far away. The building near me right now is a barn, so it's really just two locations and I wanna check out this one down here. We got a newspaper in the glove box. Sorry, mailbox. And we have no zombies yet. So we might be able to just smash open a window and enter without too much of a problem. We're in. Let's see what this place has. Which is a whole lot of nothing. Other than some melted ice cream. You know what? I'm gonna eat half of that right now. It is pretty high calorie, but if I eat half, I should still be able to lose my weight. Yeah, okay, we're good. We also have some canned peas, a saucepan, and a pot of soup. Okay, next home. We have a jacket and a book. The book is very nice. The jacket, not so much. Also, if you're wondering how I put away my gasoline tank, I just made room for it. It does weigh five kilos though, so it is pretty heavy. In the living room though, we have Foraging Volume 1, another book, a saucepan, canned goods, a sheet of paper, and some reading glasses. And finally, some foundation makeup. You know what? Can I make some war paint with it? Oh, I actually can. Okay, let's get some stripes on us. Bartholomew is a damn warrior at this point. Okay, cool. Anything in the closet? 
a toolbox, and a screwdriver with nothing. That leaves the last home right over here. I am going to be leaving the canned goods outside while I go looting as well. So let's do a nice little perimeter check, and then we'll move our way on in. Okay, from the sounds of it, it is pretty clear. Let's go check out the garage first, or the shed, and then the garage. <gasps> is that a generator? Oh, that's really, really, really good. Okay, what else we got in here? A folding chair? Not that good, but that generator will help me out quite a bit. Awesome, I'll remember where it's at. Okay, let's go check the garage, and then it's a big house. We have fertilizer and a reef lake. A, a reef lake? A, a leaf rake. Wait, did I say it right? I have no idea. Let's just focus on clearing out the inside of this place now. I heard of no zombies, so I am gonna hop in a little bit more carefree. That will always be scary. Please die. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm gonna loot when it's a little bit clearer out, and we'll see what this place has to offer. We have killed all the zombies inside. I'm gonna wash myself off. Cool. We have woken up on the first day of September, everyone. We've survived 54 whole days. I also got in some working out while I was sleeping, and it looks like a thunderstorm is going off. I'm gonna eat this melted ice cream as a small little treat, and we are still losing weight. 97 kilos going on down. And now that we are here, let's go loot around the area. What do we got? A sewing kit with nothing, a long sleeve t-shirt, an empty notebook, some more carrot seeds, carpentry volume three, another rake, some painkillers. We also have canned sardines, corn flour, vegetable oil, sausage which is rotten and finally inside of this room here we have a hoodie a dirty rag and that's it okay it's really not that good but what i can do is drop off all of our looted supplies here and just bring the gasoline can with me so i can come back here at a later date right we have about i would say six kilos of canned goods out in the driveway which i need to pick up so it'll be a perfect place to do that. So I think next episode, I want to head all the way back home. I also want to loot those homes there. Uh, take up the road, cut through, go home, grab the car, fill it up, drive it down all the way here, and then load up the van and see where life takes me after. For now, I'm going to end the episode here and I'm gonna be working out for the rest of the day. So, if you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more. I will see all of you later. Peace out, everyone.